Hey guys, so if you've seen any of my videos in the past, I'm almost always wearing a pair of Gator sunglasses. They have an aluminum frame, they're Cerakoted, and uh, they're prescription because I'm nearly blind without them. And I've actually been worried about them not being, you know, ballistically rated, and I found out they're actually not. Oh, the frames themselves are, but not, not the lenses. So I guess around my eyes, I'd be fine, but I'd be blind and, and you know, mutilated. So I talked to the guys at Tactical RX, uh, a company that makes prescription tactical sunglasses that are ballistically rated. And they sent me a pair of these guys, and I've been playing with them for a little bit. Uh, the first pair they sent me, I actually sent them the uh, wrong prescription, an older prescription I used to use, and it wasn't quite strong enough. So I'm stuck here with two pairs of these glasses. So I figured, why not go and test to see if they really are ballistically rated or not with an Ithaca Model 37 12 gauge shotgun. All right, so we'll go down range and put some rounds on these glasses and see if the difference is clear. All right. So I'm here with my buddy Chuckles and Chuckles is an evil undead clown. And I know what you're thinking, okay, Clearly he's undead, he's got blood all over him, either that or he's in some really, really poor, poor health. And he's a clown, I mean, that's not really up for debate, but how do I know he's evil? That's how. So, Chuckles here is gonna help me test an extra pair of these tactical RX glasses, which have been extensively modified to fit his obscenely flat-backed head. So I've had to, to curve them at about half distance. See, somehow Chuckles' hair is, is part of his actual skull and, uh, and, and varies between translucent and a uh, toxic neon green. I think he's seen better days, but now he'll see better than ever for a very short while. All right, Chuckles. I don't know if these are your prescription or not, buddy, but it's not really gonna matter because you're not gonna wear them for very long. Oh, he's, he's getting a little clingy on me. All right, Chuckles, I'm sorry. All right, so let's go head on back up range and give him some of this Ithaca as well as a few of these Winchester AA birdshot rounds. All right, so it looks like Chuckles here caught a couple of birdshot rounds to the brain uh, one to the eyebrow right here. Or no, he didn't actually. That's just uh, from the uh, nose guard here. And if you look, the tactical RX glasses have taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hits from bird shot. This is a steel shot, and there's there's no penetration. Let me get that back in angle for you. you can see, those aren't those are not holes. They are defamation, or deformation, but uh, yeah, it didn't go through. However, his giant clown nose has four distinct bird shot holes in it, so uh, he's gonna need that prosthetic bright red nose to hide his horribly disfigured face afterwards. Well, given that it seems to have held up fine to the uh, steel shot, I'm gonna fire something with a little more umph to it. How about a uh, 38 revolver, 158 grain lead soft point? Let's see what happens. Wow, that thing held up really, really well to the, uh, to the bird shot, so let's see like I said before, something a little more powerful. You got this Smith & Wesson Model 10 and some 38 rounds, some 158 grain 38 specials. Let's see how it holds up to that. I'm here with Chuckles, and as you can see, he's having a pretty bad day. He's got one round to his left eye and one right through the bridge of his nose, out the brain stem. Um, he's a pretty dead uh, Nazi zombie clown. That said, what's interesting is the lens that I struck, now it cracked in half in the center, right? It's hard to see, but it's cracked. But if you look, there's a very large impact mark where the 38 actually did not penetrate the material. The material failed and it bent before the 38 went through. So what that suggests is if you had some really high strength steel frames, then this could potentially stop a 38 special round to the face. 
So that's pretty wild. Now clearly it's not gonna be, you know, a, a, a complete solution, but you can see with a round, hit this, bent the material back, and then proceeded into, into killing him. But had the frame actually held up, I don't think he would be double dead, whatever it happens, whatever they call it, when something that's dead becomes more dead, deader, I don't know. Still pretty interesting uh, to know, and uh, good to know that, that the uh, polycarbonate they make their lenses out of uh, still holds up pretty decent. Now, for the ultimate test, can I see out of it still? Because it is my prescription. I look like a Super Saiyan, but what's what's interesting is, yeah, I can still see through it. There's not really any serious distortion, so it's, pre it's pretty cool. I guess I guess I have to give these uh, tactical RX glasses a pass and a thumbs up. Chuckles, however, not a fan. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more burst review.